going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. We're going to get started here just by taking care of the kind of basics of our park, our hiring staff, our building of rides, or not rides, shops and stalls. Uh, and then once we get done with that, we will take a look at all of our roller coasters and kind of the current state of our park. So I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, welcome back. We have just finished hiring a absurd amount of handymen for this park. Um, I think it is way too many, but that's not my fault. That's the fault of whoever put the path here to begin with. There's just way too much path for this park currently. Um, we also only have four rides, and we're able to have one mechanic cover two of them. That is our big wood chip and bigger wood chip which are these two wooden coasters right here, which we will preview here in a sec. And then I haven't hired any security or entertainers because we spent almost four grand on benches, trash cans, and staff, uh, as well as some of our shops and stalls, which as of right now, we only have fries, drinks, and bathrooms. Um, this park, I can already see it's going to be kind of difficult. Um, there's just so much forest everywhere and really there's not a whole lot of empty space um so we're gonna kind of take a little bit of a 180 from where we just were millennium mines where making everything look nice and spacious and make it look beautiful uh that's gonna i don't know that might be taking a back seat to uh completing our objective in this park which again is 1000 guests by the end of year three with a park rating of 600 but luckily, this already has a free admission price, so we can go back to what we're a little bit more comfortable with. Oh my goodness, we can probably get away with way more. I don't know if I want to charge much more than $8. Um, but yeah, this line, as I was kind of watching it a little bit, it's so long that people are constantly leaving it. 
Uh, you keep seeing the line advances forwards. That's not because someone's paying to get on the ride. That's because people are getting sick of waiting and they backtrack. Um, so, I, it's fine. I don't think it makes them unhappy. It might a little bit, but we're going to over account for that pretty much everywhere else. So, we can charge 720 for this one. Again, we'll probably just do $7 just to round it out. Let's make sure people actually pay that. I think someone was able to just get on. Yep, they still pay that. That's awesome. And then, what else? We had big wood chip and bigger wood chip. So big wood chip, I'm guessing, is the smaller of the two. Which has slightly lower stats in every aspect. Which is good. The names are fitting. Uh, but we can charge 780 for big wood chip. These rides are incredible. As far as just purely from a statistical standpoint, these are doing so well. And $8.40 for this. That is crazy. But we're going to need the money because this park, it's going to be very expensive. Sorry, excuse me. I feel like I have something stuck in my throat. Okay. Um, I went ahead and... We're going to watch uh, Big Woodchip real quick. But I went ahead and checked maximum funding. Unchecked scenery and theming. Because honestly, we don't really have much place to put things in this park. But I think this ride is going to be... I think this is... Yeah, this is Big Woodchip. So this is the shorter of the two. But I think it looks really cool. I like the color scheme. It's that favorite brown of mine that I like. And it just, all of these are very expansive rides. They take up so much space. Okay, that's actually not as long as I thought it was. Do we have a train up here? No, we don't. We got to wait for this one to go. Uh, but let's make sure these are set to leave if another train arrives. Just because it looks like currently the that we have way too many trains for the amount of people that are wanting to ride these. Also, it seems to be a theme of this park to build excessively long queue lines because every single one is very, very long. But oh my gosh, that goes up high. So this is the more intense of the two and it has fewer cars per train, it looks like. This one only has five and this one had... Um, six? So it's only shorter by one, but... Oh, that's a steep drop. I like this ride already. This is really cool looking. I don't think we're going to show off our go-karts because you guys all know how go-karts work by now. We've built them plenty. We've seen them plenty. They're not any different. And you'll get to see them... Where does this go? Uh, you'll get to see them as we kind of build this park. You know, they stretch throughout the entirety of this park. So as we build pretty much everything else, you'll get a chance to see them. If I were to build this ride, this would cost me probably like 10, 12 grand. Uh, that is not a cheap ride to build. But, okay, we need to start going, start making some of our money back. Um, we're going to do a couple of our smaller, our gentle and thrill rides to start with. Pretty standard by now, if that's a surprise to you. Um, it shouldn't be. And yeah, for every single thing here, it's going to take a lot of just clearing space for it. So I will do my best not to complain about building or having to demolish trees every time I build something. Uh, because if I do, that's going to get pretty old pretty quick. Uh, so I'll just kind of, I'll do my best... <laughs> Feel free to keep me accountable, but I will do my best to just kind of build it and shut up about all the trees that I have to demolish. Okay, that's it for my tree rant. Uh, so we need to build the queue first. I don't know why I started building the exit first. That would have messed things up. Uh, and this line is a stark contrast to everything else. As far as the size of our line is concerned, at least. Uh, but it looks like... That fits in there kind of nice. Uh, and we need to paint this. I don't know what kind of theme I want to do for this park. I don't know if I'm going to... Hmm. 
What it, it is very heavily forested. Um, what could I do? What if we made it into... I know I did like the uh, the haunted house in last episode. Uh, or not last episode. In last park, Millennium Mines. Uh, I said I wanted to sort of make a logging camp around that area. What if we made this entire park into a logging camp? Uh, or at least sort of like a woodcutter area. It's extremely heavily forested. Uh, it's very easy to tell that. Like, you can barely see half of the walkway because it's obscured in trees. Which is a nice look. Don't get me wrong. I like how that looks. Um, let's go ahead and open this while we talk. Um, I'm trying to think of a name for it. I have a list of... I went back through some of my... Uh, actually, all of my previous parks. And I went through all of my, I think, slides, carousels, um, haunted houses, and scrambled eggs. And I came up with some names that I could use to hopefully save me some time when it came to naming them. However, I didn't pull up that list when I started this episode, so that's not really uh, serving the purpose I intended for it to, is it? Um, so yeah, sometimes our uh, haunted houses and our scrambled eggs will be an exception to the naming scheme in the park. I might come back and change it if I think of something else. Um, but this being the forest kind of wooded... Uh, let's name this Poached. Poached egg. Like poachers hunting their game or poaching an egg. And we can charge 190 for this. I don't think I can up the rotations while people are on it. I can. Awesome. 18. That should be... That should allow us to charge a little bit more. So we'll keep that open while we go ahead and build something else. That's it for thrill rides. We already have two things of go-karts and two uh, haunted trails. Or not haunted trails. <laughs> wooden coasters. I'm thinking of what I need to build next. Alright, so that allows us to charge 250. So 60 cents more. Perfect. Uh, and I did space out all my shops and stalls. I don't feel like this park is going to lend itself very well to a food court just because it's easy to find one tile of space somewhere to put something. It's not at all easy to find one tile of space to put, or more than that. Um, wow, I'm just talking and not thinking as I talk. It's very easy to find one tile of space to put something. It's a lot harder to find a flat area where I can clear out enough trees to allow for a decent-sized food court to be placed. That's what I was trying to say before the word vomit happened. <laughs> okay, so this should work just fine. Our queue is going to be quite a bit shorter than the rest. I think that's going to be what we do for everything, because I don't know why the lines for these rides are so long to begin with. Uh, but slide one, we can charge... We'll do unlimited rides... I never used to do this as a kid. I always left it at single rides. But I feel like it um, it ups the ride's longevity. Uh, you can keep it priced at a higher price for longer when you have it set to unlimited rides per admission. And it takes a little bit longer for everyone to go through the line, but it it makes it that much better of a ride. And so I don't think it's an issue in the slightest. All right, so in this park... I think we're going to do... Yeah, I'm kind of set on it. We're going to do sort of like a heavily forested hunter slash logging kind of wood themed camp. Um, so for that, do we have any... We have wooden style. I would like the logging style. So we're actually going to go ahead and check scenery and theming again because I believe that comes as part of the... Um, what is it called? The mine theming objects like we had in our last park. So I'll go ahead and leave them this for now. I would prefer that log look, kind of like a log cabin feel. Uh, but for now, I think that will work. So in this park, I'd like to incorporate a lot of uh, browns, greens, maybe some oranges for like hunters wearing, you know, you wear those bright orange vests so that no one accidentally shoots you while you're hunting. Uh, I think that could look kind of cool. So we're going to we're gonna try sticking with that. I think that would actually look better as a green. We're going to try sticking with that. Whether that 
ends up looking good or works well or not, uh, only time will tell. But we'll find out when we get there. So, since we're just... We have hunters on the mine. Um, no. Deer blind. I was going to name it hunter's blind, but that's not what that is. It's a deer blind. Perfect. Uh, and again, these names are just going to kind of be in the... They should make you think of the environment I'm trying to create. They probably won't always reflect the ride that I am uh, building. But I think this will look kind of cool when it's all said and done. I didn't plan this theme prior, obviously. Uh, hence our struggle bus of coming up with a name or a theme. But I think it's going to come out nice. I'm excited for it now. And oh, that looks so bad. <laughs> there we go. All it takes is adding a little bit of theme to a park to make it that much more exciting. When I started this park, uh, or actually when I previewed it last episode, I remember playing this park as a kid, and this park is just so difficult because there's not a lot of open real estate. You have to clear a lot of the land and level a lot of the terrain to make something fit. Uh, and that's not easy to do, especially when I was a kid. That was just tedious. Um, and I didn't really like tedium at that age. I think we could do a Ferris wheel right here. And also one thing I do like about these kind of busier, more crowded parks is that it forces you to really get creative. Um, what I mean by that is simply, oh, I need to put this back one. So I'm trying to think where these lines are going to line up. Uh, yeah, we'll do it back one. It forces you to see spaces that you could use that you otherwise wouldn't normally. And what I mean by that is, like, right this area right here. Normally, in, like, last park, Millennium Mines, I wouldn't have considered putting a ride right here. But since everything is so... Uh, why did I do that? I did it again. Uh, but since everything is so kind of compact we really need to utilize all the space that we have is there another tree i thought i'd demolish that tree oh it's hiding <laughs> that works and i rotated that once too much there we go but yeah it it kind of forces you to change things up a little bit and what mechanic do we have over here i need to go back and is that him that's him. Wait for him to turn around. Or if we can click on him before he turns around, which we can't. There we go. All right, big wood chip. You are now going to be responsible for this as well. I think that covers it. That covers almost everything, but... Ferris wheel one. I've really got a hunting theme on my mind. Ferris feeder. A feeder is kind of the stuff that uh, automate, automatically like kind of spits out food on the ground to attract animals. Usually, whatever you're hunting. Most people, it's deer. But, um... What color do we want to do this? What if we do... Okay, so that's a support. I want to color the wheel first. So brown on the outside and then green on the inside that looks really nice and then the gray support i like that that's a good looking ferris wheel and we'll up the number of rotations what's max eight we'll cut it down a little bit six rotations i think is solid i should probably do that before adjusting the prices i'm having to do all that twice right now <laughs> uh we'll come back to that again uh what else or what other little things do we have to build? Uh, so we didn't get any more thrill rides. Uh, have we unlocked anything since we started other than the Ferris wheel? I think that's the only... Uh, up, Not upgrade. Only thing we have unlocked so far. Uh, we'll actually go ahead and do this. I was going to say right next to this, but this area right here is fairly open. It's probably... A space I should be saving for a roller coaster 
not a haunted house. Uh, geez, this area is so, so dense with forest. Uh, can I fit it somewhere in here? I'm gonna have to. Uh, so that's two tiles higher, so if I do it there, that's gonna work. Okay. So if I clear all this out, I think I can see what I'm doing. I think. Probably not, in hindsight, but... Nope. I think there's probably one more that other side there. Uh, I just lost the area. It was... That's what's in my way. There we go. We got Egyptian theming objects, and not what I'm wanting. <laughs> but it's it's a theme. Not the theme we want, but it's a theme. That's what I get. Okay, so if I do the entrance here, I can drop it two tiles to there, or I can run it out to the side, which I think I'd rather do. So we'll do just that, and then the exit can go right back out onto the main path. Perfect. <laughs> Your park has received an award for being the park with the best bathroom facilities in the country. I don't think I've ever gotten that. I think we charged 10 cents for each one. If I didn't, I meant to. Yeah, 10 cents, and we have like five or six of them. Yeah, six bathrooms. That's really funny. Okay, 245. I wish there was something you could do to change a haunted house. Either the way it looked or a different mode or adjust the capacity or something. Just to give you a little bit more control over it. I know it doesn't affect much and I'm not changing much. But just being able to change it myself makes me feel like I did more. But with a haunted house, you literally place it and then adjust the price and you're done. It kind of makes it easy. Or actually, it's extremely easy, but... Um, okay. Let me... Let me get my list out again. We'll come back to this. <laughs> I really need to plan this ahead before I do this next time. Oops. I meant to, but... I didn't, so that's a thing. Alright. We'll come back to this in just a sec. What else do we have? We have a carousel and a car ride. Um... We are in June. Let's actually build a roller coaster. We need something to generate some revenue. Even though we're actually making a lot of money. We have earned, I think, 1500 uh, while simultaneously spending money. So we actually, we're making quite a bit of money. And the fact that we're able to charge between like 7 and $8 for all these rides, uh, it's definitely, definitely helping. We're going to make our money back pretty quick. Uh, finding a space for a station is really going to be the only, not difficulty I have, but it's going to be the only main challenge. Um, so if we, I'm trying to envision how this would come back. So if we do a curve here and another curve here, we get to put a station right here. So let's do just that. Uh, we'll do the station right there. And I'm going to try to make this, I say this every time and it never happens. I'm going to try to make this kind of small, not a crazy ride. And in order to limit myself, I'm going to stop the station right there. Just because if I make it too long, then um, we'll have enough trains and it won't really be an issue. Or not enough trains. We'll have too many trains to where there's always some sitting there in the station. And I think that looks kind of tacky. Okay, so... I do want to try to keep this kind of in this back corner, but I feel like for this park, at least for this style of ride, um, I want to keep it kind of along the same design as the wooden coasters in that they're kind of spread out. And so I don't want this to be super just condensed. I don't want it to be really compact. And I mean, if we do like a... Um, Oh, what is it called? Helix down small here. If we do a um, crazy rodent, I think that's going to be something where we'll definitely want to make it compact just because I feel like for that ride, it just looks so much better. 
go up to 19 there. Uh, but yeah, for most other rides, this included, we're going to try to stick with somewhat of... Uh, where's in our way? This one? There we go. Somewhat of a spacious, kind of all over the place design. And I think if we take this down this hill, this could look kind of cool. Uh, what's in our way? This tree. There we go. And so we started at 15, so we need to try to get back to that. But we're going to go a little lower here first. And if I could avoid getting rid of all of this stuff, I would prefer that. But the land's going to be in our way here, isn't it? Uh, what if I did a helix up small here? Would that allow me to? Nope, it won't. That's fine. We'll just ask to go back up. And that works fine as well. Let me go ahead and add a few of those trees back. I demolished a few more than I would have liked to. Or, yeah, demolish would be the correct word. <laughs> Cut down. That's fine. All right. So we dropped from 19 at that last one there. So we'll try to keep this... Somewhat... It's not going to go up and down too much more. Uh, we are going to need to do an S-bend to the right here. Uh, what if we do... No. What if we do an S bend to the left and then this kind of turn? There we go. And yeah, we're just going to keep it at 15 right now. And this will need to be a tight turn, another tight turn, flatten it out, and we are back to the beginning. So yeah, I think I accomplished my goal of keeping that pretty small. I wanted to make it longer. I always do. <laughs> but sometimes I need to force myself to to not. Uh, okay, so if I bring this... If I put this entrance here, I'm thinking I could run my footpath down here, avoiding most of those trees, run it back over and connect up where this bench is down here. The exit can go... Uh, right here, and we'll snake the path right there. Okay, that's the plan. I said earlier I didn't want to make my lines super long, but this one is going to be one of such super long lines. So, And that should connect up. Oh, that actually works nicer. Perfect. Oh, and awesome. We just got an info kiosk. We'll build that here next. Or we'll build several of those here next. Maybe we can win, award, win an award for having the most informational information kiosks, just like we won the award for having the best restrooms. How that's possible? I'm not sure. But let us... Oh, that works. Two trains, 10 cars per train. I'd actually like to do... Let's do three. I think three would look better. Uh, and shorter cars, I also think, would look better. Okay, three with seven. I think that, I think that'll look the best. Um, and I'm not worried about this falling back on itself uh, or not making it over a crest and backtracking and exploding on the other one. So I'll test it continuously so we can get results faster. Uh, but let me grab, oh, we never hired a mechanic over here. Let me hire a new mechanic for this area. Sorry, I'm trying to watch that ride out of the corner of my eye. I like that. That has a good amount of speed for most of it. Sweet. Yeah, that's nice and small. That'll be a quick money maker. I'm hoping. Assuming it's decent. Which it should be. I'm not expecting it to be anything wild and crazy. That wasn't my intent. Perfect. That's kind of along the lines of what I was wanting. So we can charge $4.90. Nope. I need to go up. $4.90. Are people going to ride it? Yes, they are. Awesome. Um, our park will get a lot more fun and successful <laughs> looking uh, once we... Have, sorry, I'm highlighting the money here. Once we get more guests in our park, 
because even if we build a fantastic ride, there's just not going to be enough people in the general vicinity of the ride to want to ride it. Uh, so, you know, there could be a lot of people that want to go on this that are all the way over here somewhere. Like, this dude probably really wants to go on it. But he's so far away that we're not going to see that for a long time. And uh, we'll go ahead and do... Uh, just because we do have so many cars, leave if another train arrives. That's perfect. And it should send that one out right away. Yeah, there we go. And then, okay, what should we name this? Ooh, got it. The Hunt. I think that's a pretty cool sounding name. Okay. 490. All right, for color scheme, what do we want to do? It's the hunt, so I'd like to incorporate some orange in this one as well. Um, do the orange for the middle. What if we do a brown? How would that look? What if we swap those? If I see something that I kind of like, but I'm not crazy about it, my first guess or my first attempt to remedy that is always to swap the colors, if you guys haven't noticed that. Uh, and then the support color, I like, just not for this. Gray, what if we do brown as well? I think that would look good. I was correct, it looks great. Let's try a different color brown. What if this gold brown look like? Very ugly, so no, we're not doing that. All right, there is the hunt. Very short, very sweet. That is kind of my goal. Or that was kind of my goal. Now let's actually do... No, we'll do all the same colors. We'll actually do black. Black with... No, I don't want to do black and orange. That's like... Kind of Halloween-ish. Uh, let's do brown and orange? Yeah, there it is. Okay, that is the hunt. With no one on it. That's not true. There's a decent amount of people on it. Just not when I looked at it. Okay, guys. I think that's going to be where we end this episode. Uh, we accomplished what I set out to do, which was build a coaster and kind of get my park off the ground. Up and running, on its feet, whatever. Pick your phrase you want to use. That's what we did. Uh, we have a basic foundation for our park going. And man, this line is insane. <laughs> no, forget it. We're going to charge $9 now. If people want to ride it that bad, they'll ride it $9 bad instead of $8 bad. But yeah, I'm hoping we can get... Um, I said we're going to build an info kiosk. We'll do that next episode, at the start of next episode. I'm hoping we get the uh, mine theming so we can do the same stations... Uh, station style that we had in our last park, that log cabin style. I think that will that'll look well. Look well? I think that will look nice. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you guys like the theme or if there's anything you'd like to see with this theme. So far I've kind of done more hunter related items um, but I'm planning on doing for some of our coasters sort of like the sawmill or so, I don't know something i think it could be kind of cool but all right guys that's gonna do it for this episode thank you guys very much for watching i will see you in the next episode and until then take care <laughs>